Welcome to another local band, Smoke Out. I am your host, is higher than most, BG, and I have the honor and privilege to have one of my absolute favorite local bands in the scene coming all the way from Albany, New York, Frequent Misconceptions. Gentlemen, how are we doing? We're good, uh, good. How's it going, bro? It is going fantastic. We're hanging out with Josh, Billy, and Stefano. Really fast, they're a metalcore band that you can go to at Frequent Misconceptions. Please do while we're hanging out, while you're watching this, and... Uh, Throw them a like, throw them a follow, whatever you can do. They're one of the only, you guys are one of the only local bands. The one of the only, I mean like two or three, where I like every single song you got. <laughs> How, what is it about your writing process that just appeals to metalcore fans like myself? I think that our writing process um, has been a lot different for the past couple of songs. Like Duplicate Chronicles took, took us a while to drop. And Unforgiven took me a while to drop. The other songs we had, like Lloyd from uh, uh, Burn Like Stars helped me write it. And they weren't part of the original lineup to begin with. They've only been here for like the past, well, since Duplicate Chronicles was a thing. Stefano helped me write du Duplicate Chronicles lyrically. Okay, how did how did you find the current lineup that, that you have right now? Were you, were so you like at a show so, or saw our them social or something? Media, our social media pretty much helped us find like... Definitely. Um, like, I know Stefano, I had him as a friend on Facebook for a while. And then, actually, Bobby Carroll from up here in Albany actually helped me find Brian, our current guitarist, who's not here today, unfortunately. Him and, and Larry are actually in this in their jam room, like, making songs right now as we speak. Yeah. Hell yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Have you, have you guys always... I'm sorry. You continue. No, it was just social media, like pretty much everything was social media. Like that's how we found each other. Yeah. Have you guys always been, have you lived uh, always in New York or is everyone from somewhere else or how? I've lived in New York my whole life. I lived in Georgia for a few years. What part of Georgia? Back here. What part of Georgia? Um, I was in uh, Smyrna. Okay. I used to live in uh, Orlando, not too far from there. Yeah, nice. But um, yeah, I, I lived in Puerto Rico for a long time. Really? How long ago was that? Yeah. Puerto Rico. That was, uh, I want to say, about eight years ago now. I've been in New York, in this area of New York for about eight years. Did you start in New York and then go to Puerto Rico and come back? So I, uh, I was born in Chicago, and then I lived in Puerto Rico for a few years. Then I moved to New York. Then I moved to Puerto Rico, and now I'm back in New York. You're just a traveler. You've been, you've been around the world. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right, so, so Duplicate Chronicles was the first time that you went about attempting cleans as far as i know of with this band uh what was it like you gotta have been a little bit nervous to to vocally try something different what what was that like in the studio i gotta say i gotta give a huge shout out to randy pescarella because if it wasn't for him i probably would have not done it hell yeah randy's hell the man yeah. dude randy is he the is man. like so i really like he like it's a i would never record my vocals with anybody else you know what I mean? He's he's the man. He just yeah. He just he just has a way to like push you to, but also yeah, also giving knowledge, you confidence. And his knowledge to like be able to tell you, oh you can do this and then like like oh do it like this and then like you, you just do it and then it's whoa okay, I didn't know I could even do that. Thank you. And his mixes are amazing. We had a little bit of uh, I lost you for a second on the Wi-Fi or something, but. Yeah, yeah, his mixing is fantastic. Um, so if you could just somewhat repeat that your answer, it was like a little unstable for a second. Oh uh, yeah, so Randy, pretty much just the way he teaches you how to like do things that you don't you don't even know that you're capable of doing. Like that's just and and then his mixes. He Stefano yeah, said his mixes are unbelievable. He it's did did so he crazy. did so he clean. did he used to like teach under or apprentice under Sturgis? Because he has a very like similar sound to Joey Sturgis' sound. I, I do know that he went to school for it, but as far as that, I, I really I wouldn't even know. I would wait for that answer during the interview <laughs> that you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll see him. What is it? June fourth, I think. A June. Yeah, June fourth. I'll see him. That's awesome. I can't uh, wait to watch that. Yeah. Would you guys ever consider doing a cover song 
and what song would you pick if so oh, oh man, man. <laughs> i'll tell you off the rip and this is something that i've been telling myself for a couple of years i want to do a deathcore version of yellow submarine by the beatles fuck yeah <laughs> fuck yeah i love the beatles man i actually have a beatles tattoo right here i don't, I don't know if you can see it but it, that's awesome it says all you need is love right there yeah yeah but yeah that would be wild and i'm sure it would get tons and tons of plays just because no one's ever heard that <laughs> that would be cool um any new ep or full length single news just a song new song i know you guys just fairly you dropped a fairly new one recently but maybe another ep in the works what's what's any news you can give me so i would i would say that basically right now we're in the works of putting a lot of songs together mm -hmm. so that we can pick and choose what we want to do but our sound is definitely changing. Like we're not going to sound the same anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's nothing wrong with that. It, yeah. We're going to get heavier. There's going to be cleans, but it's going to be, you know what I mean? It's, it's going to get a little intense. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the cool thing about having like so many records to choose from is like, you're going to, you're going to give us the best. So yeah. it'll probably continue on with the I like every song you you got again, <laughs> I imagine. And, and we plan to recreate a couple of songs that we've already dropped, like Unforgiven and Duplicate Chronicles. I would expect that as a deluxe song on our full length once we drop it. Yeah. Because we are recreating them and in new ways. Like a reimagining. Cool. That sounds fun. I love when, when bands do that too. Like they just kind of like flip it on its head and make a complete different version of a song. Um, I, I wouldn't count on something new dropping for a couple months, though. I'd yeah. give it some time. Take your time. There's no rush. Yeah. It'll be worth the wait. Who in the band is 420 friendly? <laughs> All of us. I plead the fifth. Yeah. Heard. 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 Just in case the jobs are watching, we don't, we don't, we don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I got you. I got you. If you could pick, if you could pick your, and this goes to all three of you. Your favorite one line lyric in the band. What is your favorite like one liner that Josh does? I know that's a tough one. You gotta think about it for a second. <laughs> I, I like the yeah. fact that in the new song, it was a, the new song, right? Where you actually say the band name in the new song. Yes. Mm -hmm. I thought that was clever how you worked that in. Yeah, that's uh, gotta be my favorite that, line. That when he did that for me the first time when I heard him say like recite it, I was like, ooh, <laughs> it's on. Hell yeah. I really like the uh memories are like an echo. Yeah, I love the, part. Mm -hmm. I love the chorus. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there's Unforgiven, I gotta say, has one of my favorite lines too though. That's where that, that, it's that like song. the song is basically about murdering somebody, like lyrically, it's literally murder. Well damn, damn! you won't get away with this is one of my favorite lines. Yeah. I like the I like the one in Hollow Eyes. Uh, now that I have you in front of me, I forget it, but it's my. It's like right after the hook. It's like the breakdown of the song. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do like a crazy high scream right there. So I think you say something about eyes, but uh, that that part of my ticket. Are you cool with me playing some music videos in the background while we chat? I won't have any sound just to yeah, that's sh fine. show a visual. I'm gonna do a share screen real quick. Get that right there. Uh, Albany, New York, as we mentioned. And let's just play on the floor in the background. Yeah, that was actually recorded right here in my house. The whole video? The whole video. Was that was that uh Fogo Media? Yeah, Fogo Media, Paxton Connors, shout out. How did you how did you and Paxton link up? So I posted on Facebook for people who were doing videos. And this girl tagged me on one of his statuses about saying he was in New York for a few weeks and he wanted to do a couple projects. So he actually did on the floor for free. Oh, that's cool of him. Yeah. Hell yeah. I guess he was just starting in it, but the dude's sick. Like, I'm obviously the work talks for itself. Mm -hmm. Name every band you've ever been in, Josh. Hmm. I know for those who doubt. I've jammed them before and they're awesome. But uh, is there anything else, maybe like a high school band that never played a show, but just can you just rattle off all the bands you, you've ever been in? Yeah, I think I had like two bands. One is like literally no name, had no name on it. And then the other one was like Relentless. And that was like when I was like 12, basically. Was it a similar, was Relentless like a similar sound to like, was it as far as being like a screaming band or was it 
Yeah, it's always been it's always been like that. It honestly started out like a day to remember cover band, and then it moved on to like instead of being a band, we just like did covers all day when we were in jam room. Hell yeah! Speaking of that, I uh, I watched I think a, a Fogo Media interview of you just to get a little more like research. And one of the things that stuck out to me was something you said about playing in your high school auditorium. What, what, if you can remember, what were the reactions that people gave you the first time you, they heard you screaming in the high school? We auditorium? got kicked out, bro. You got kicked out? <laughs> it was too, it was too metal for them? Yeah, oh, bro. <laughs> that is lame. But were people yeah, like I impressed? Mean, like, the fucking, listen to this shit. I tried to join the band for school for a long time on percussion. And like, I'm all right on the drums. And they would not take me. I went to some, man, listen. They we went to the auditorium and used their drums one time and they kicked us out. Damn, it's not it's not very nice yeah, of them. Rough. They probably regret it now, but uh, yeah, let's get serious. Dead to be honest, I, bet, dude, <laughs> <holy> <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> uh, I do want to get serious for a second there. During that uh, that particular interview, you talked extensively about how rehab really essentially saved you. Could could you? go a little bit in detail of not what led to that but how maybe advice for others that are struggling um anything along the lines that you're willing to share yeah i mean uh, my job right now works closely with like people who are in rehab and um yeah um yeah it's a great experience i mean it also is like all mental like you got to be prepared to like face the consequences for your own actions so, you know what I mean? Not everybody's ready to like have a successful rehab, but I encourage anybody who's going through something to at least reach out to somebody that can get them in the right, the right path, you know? Gotcha. Good and advice. It's not easy to volunteer yourself to do something when you know you're wrong. It's really hard for people to comprehend how wrong you could be, you know? Well, we're glad you're here and you're healthy, brother, for sure. Thank you. Um. Okay. That was, that was the deepest we're going to get. Let's go back to <laughs> you guys can only take one album to an island each each individual individual member what you got only one album and you're stuck on this island forever what album are for you me, taking for me nirvana and utero oh hell yeah classic i still think that uh reckless and relentless is the best album i've ever gotten from asking alexandria so i'll probably take that it's definitely my favorite album from them yeah. I'd probably go with Captured Embrace by It Prevails. By Pierce the Veil? Uh, it Prevails. Oh, at least it, it, uh, Pierce the Veil, okay. It Prevails. Mm -hmm. I, I know some songs from It Prevails, but I'm not like super, super familiar with them. But Yeah, uh, Ian Fike's a beast. Too. Hell yeah. Uh, how did, looking back on like, this is our first jam, I know it's a different lineup, but what was the moment when you were like, that's it, that's the band name? That is what we're rolling with. How did how did you come up with the band name? Oh, okay. So Frequent Misconceptions basically came upon like, look at all the people in the scene. They walk around the streets and you don't know them and you don't know what they can do. And everyone is a Frequent Misconception because everybody gets judged by just how they look. So basically Frequent Misconceptions is about like all like the things that people overlook that are just a frequent misconception. <laughs> I, I mean, it makes sense. When you explain it like that, it makes sense for sure. Uh, if you could tour with any band, who would it be? Hmm. Another tough one. There's a lot. There's so, There's many. so many bands, bro. <laughs> okay, give me give me like a, you guys are opening, but then three bigger acts follow you and you're on this tour for a hundred dates. So us, Fit for a King, Body Snatcher. Josh, I'll let you finish. I would love to tour with Dayseeker. Oh, hell yeah. They're fire too. Yeah. yeah. Rory is a master at his art. Mm. Is it, what Dayseeker is what the, the ex clean singer of, of Mice and Men, right? Is it? I, I I, I'm thinking of, is it, no, isn't Shaylee in? Yeah, that's Dayshell. Oh, you're right. Dayshell. Dayshell. Yeah, I'm getting them mixed up. Dayseeker and Dayshell. You're right. Whoops. Uh, da, da, da. What artists would you say influence you? I mean, you kind of have answered this, but I have it written down. 
what artists would you say that aren't normally a metal band but still provide somewhat of an influence to your sound like maybe maybe uh I'll let you guys go first okay. well when it comes to me with the drums one of my favorite drummers is like I grew up a big Nirvana fan, so I hit hard like Dave Grohl. Mm -hmm. So like I think you know the quickness and the and the fast and the energy, definitely like Dave Grohl's drum energy. Have you ever tried to do vocals like knowing when? I'm assuming that you've been a fan of Dave for a long, long time. When he transitioned from Nirvana to being a vocalist, like as a drummer yourself, have you ever like, well shit, let me give it a try? Oh yeah, I play guitar too and I sing, so. Oh, okay, cool. I tried to learn it all. Hell yeah, man! A I tried to learn everything <laughs> music, man. A multi skill, excellent. Yeah. yeah, he helped me write the the cleans for uh, Duplicate Chronicles. Okay, is there is there actually recorded backing vocals from you, or no. or would you guys ever consider that maybe down the road? That's yes. the plan, both of them. Oh hell yeah, excellent. Yeah, everybody's gonna be involved with the mics though. Like even the guitarists are gonna be like, yeah. It's cool. It, it's a great way to just, especially for live shows, like. Yeah, just... exactly. That's what we're thinking. We, you know, like recorded music is recorded music, but when you go see us live, you know, I want to make you give somebody a concussion. <laughs> yeah. Are they? Are they? Are they opening up like gigs and venues right now in New York? Or are they still kind of? We got a little time. Yeah, so October happens. Oh, they're they're looking at October. Yeah, that's where yeah, that's they're booking right now. So, so everybody's like booking the shows for October right now, though. Yeah. Yes. Do you guys have anything lined up, or we're just, it's all? I mean, you probably announced like a little bit down we're the road. We're working on it at the moment. Yeah, we're we're really just focused on making sure we write new music since it's a whole yeah. new lineup, and we're gonna change the sound, and it's just what we're doing. I think the best thing we could do right now is to make sure we write some bangers, and then when we actually start playing shows, mm -hmm. we're not just playing one set; we're playing two or three different sets. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And people can, can actually fucking enjoy the music instead of just listening to the same six songs every day. Yeah, so pretty much we can go to one venue and play a set of five songs and then go to the next venue and the same people ain't, and other people aren't getting the same show. You know what I mean? Make it special. Yeah, make it unique to, to each audience. That's cool because you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be seeing you like once Tuesday, once on Friday, and, and mm -hmm. it's okay if it's the yeah. same mm -hmm. set, but let's give them something to talk about. Like, oh shit, yeah, what, you yeah. need to go to all of them because they do something different each time. So. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, let's see. Why did you Why did you end up leaving for those who doubt? Um, rehab. Like at the ending of it, I literally I was in California for about nine months. What part of California? Uh, I was in the desert. I was down by the the Marine base on Twenty Nine Palms. Okay. And then you said for nine months. Cool. Shout out Chili's. Chili's providing mm -hmm. that spinach dip so we can snack during the facts. <laughs> Give me free shit, Chili's. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. You guys actually have answered every question that I've. Every single one. I had to scribble a couple out. No big deal. Um, is there any? Is there any? Uh, some secrets? Maybe. What irritates the other two members of the band? uh i just i don't know just trying to dig and see if i can get some juice um i don't really get bothered by anything man no i i think everybody gets along so great it's just it's a weird vibe because i've never had like the full lineup full lineup like it's always been like somebody here is missing somebody there you know what i mean but now that we have a full lineup it's just great like it's just mm -hmm. yeah you know we get together where we can and like like my guitarist yesterday got in touch with me and they're like, dude, listen, you do the interview. We're going to go write some music. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to complain. So it's just, that's just not your thing or, or they just leave it to. I just think I, right now they're focused on, on the music yeah. part of it. Like it's not that they're not about it, but it's just more like they've got, they want to write music. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's cool. That's it's also keeping it positive and, and keeping the work for, going forward um yeah exactly but, how did you guys uh how did you guys find out about local band smoke out um pretty sure i added you on facebook or you added me on facebook at one point and then you shared the the the, the post like oh we're doing like a review thing and then i posted frequent misconceptions i think the first one i posted was on the floor mm -hmm. if i'm not mistaken 
But yeah, it was through us being friends on Facebook. Hell yeah. I always like to ask people that. Normally I ask people right here to do an intro, but you guys were kind enough to already send me an intro. So I appreciate that. Um, I'm trying to think of some other... Do you guys listen to hip hop or anything or EDM in your spare time? Like, what do you oh. what do you listen to in your spare time that's not metal? So, give me something mm-hmm. surprising. So, for me, uh, a lot of old punk rock like Fugazi, Misfits, uh, Minor Threat, it's OG uh, Black punk Flag, rock, but also hip hop like NWA, um, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Snoop, Tupac, West Coast, Big L. Hell yeah. Cool. I listen to reggaeton. I'm from Puerto Rico. That shit fire too. <laughs> <laughs> Some hood rap music from the islands. Makes you, makes you dance. Makes the ladies come out and dance too. So, <laughs> and then what about yourself? Um, I'm pretty strictly metal. Cool. Any other, polar movie? Nothing wrong with that. So no, no country or anything going down anytime soon. Eh, I mean, I can <laughs> stay and listen to it on the radio and stuff or whatever. But I don't know when it comes to like. Just getting in my own headspace or whatever. It's definitely got to be some sort of something heavy, you know? Cool. Because because you guys are, are willing, to, or not willing, but you're going like a different, not so much a different route. You said it was going to be heavier with the new stuff, but at the same time, it's going to sound a lot different. Can we expect any local features, maybe some surprises on on, on the tracks? Oh, there's going to definitely be surprises. If you, don't have to, if you don't have to spill the beans and say this is the artist, but... I guess I've been talking to somebody on Instagram for about a year and a half about doing a feature and I'd like to get him on board, but I can't release the name until I know for a fact he's on board. Cause then I'll just be like a yeah. dumbass, you know? Right. But I am going to be featuring on a one of, for those who doubts new songs. Cool. Excellent. And that'll be out at some point. I know they just tracked it with Randy. So you already done your part. No, they tracked the instruments. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we'll be on the lookout yeah. for that soon. I'm sure we'll spin it on streams and stuff um oh yeah what kind of what kind of movies do you guys watch like what i'm I'm a big horror film fan i watch every horror movie i love yeah. horror movies but i also love a good like mobster flick goodfellas is one of my favorite movies absolutely casino absolutely love it. i'm on my marvel shit yeah. i love anime too so i, I just I love I, dc but dc is dc yeah i i finished what did i just finished recently i just finished wandavision and uh the Justice League, like four and a half hour version. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Um, which was cool. It was cool. I like that last part with the Joker at the end. But um, yeah. let's see. What's a what's the last concert you went to before COVID? Mine was Terror and Kublai Khan. I believe I saw Dayseeker, Motionless and Wife, and. I don't know, Beartooth, like in the same weekend. It was like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Hell yeah. It's a pretty good lineup. And then or everything shut down. Weekend. Yeah. Yeah, I think the last thing I've seen is actually one of my old band shows. I really don't go to shows too often, unfortunately. But Yeah, we, we just allowed shows, I don't know, maybe like a month and a half ago. Um, mm-hmm. And depending where you go, either you have to be a mask the whole time or temperature check at the door. Mm-hmm. provide the card all that stuff so it is getting weird and i feel like with so many bands like and covid happening everything shutting down like everyone's plans got put on hold so we, there's bands that are releasing stuff that they recorded like last january right now and they're mm-hmm. trying to tour on it um what what did you guys accomplish would you say is the most during covid obviously writing and stuff like that but uh was there anything else that because we had basically a year off, like, did you map out the whole plan for what we're going to see come October, November? In the last, like, six months? I imagine so, but... Does that make um, sense? Does that make sense? I think it kind of makes sense. Okay. I'm kind of stoned, so I can't know. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, just, I just burned a minute ago right before, but... <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like during COVID, I spent a lot of time like this is actually during COVID is when I actually dropped all my music when I why all of our music was done, you know. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, I think come next year, you guys are going to catch us a lot with a lot of new content and a lot to talk about for sure. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Well, we are very excited to hear it. 
especially myself. Like I said, there's hardly any other band I could name where I like every single one of their songs. So, and I listen to probably seven or eight new bands every single day. So you guys should feel something for that i would that's say that's awesome <laughs> appreciate you man oh yeah you guys are awesome man i love you guys uh it's cool hanging out with billy and stefano too because i don't really know you guys too well but i'm sure i'll be seeing more of you a lot um most definitely we, we've actually flown through all the questions i had faster than i thought but it, we're just rolling we're just rolling like that uh what, what's your plans for the rest of the day and maybe some nba i know the knicks are playing the hawks my Older brother is actually in New York from North Carolina, so I'm probably going to call him and be like, bitch, go have a beer. <laughs> Which well, that's pretty much it. When, when, you, when, you, when you drink beer, are you IPA, uh, wheat beer? Yeah, Which... IPAs are my favorite, but like I drink Blue Moon too, you know what I mean? Like If I'm broke and I got to have a $5 beer, Blue Moon is my go-to. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. Uh, I appreciate you guys doing this, man. Uh, yeah, take, yeah, taking the time yeah, out of your, yeah. your schedule. Hopefully, you call in and check on the boys, and, and they're like, "We got it! We got the next hit!" Mm -hmm. Right after this, but uh, yeah, you guys can go to at Frequent Misconceptions. Please, please go like their page and support them. They're absolutely amazing. Like I said, they're a metalcore band from Albany, New York. And you're you're gonna be hearing a ton, ton of stuff from them. Probably come fall, winter time. But uh, we'll keep yeah. spinning them every now and then. And oh, forgot to mention. Let me uh, share the screen one more time. We forgot to mention. You guys have a little bit of a competition coming up soon. Oh, yeah. So uh, congrats on being one of the last 16 to win. And now I, I do have a say-so in these, but the fans really pick who wins these things. So they love you guys. So I, I, I could see this going you know, pretty far down the line. Have you listened to any of the other artists to be like, oh, shit, those guys are tight. Not worried about this band. Not worried about... Anything I've like checked most of them out, but it's not really a competition like to see who sucks and who doesn't. Mm. It's more about who's more awesome, but we'll see. I wouldn't say any of them suck, but it, it's it's kind of not geared this way, but I feel like whoever kind of brings the most people is probably going to win their their rounds. Yeah. But um, yeah. I'm rooting for you guys, man. I really am. I'm excited to hear the new music. Just about everyone I show your stuff to is just head over heels instantly hitting the likes hitting the spotify follows all that stuff so you well, guys look at some shows come next year bro and we'll come out and see you mm -hmm. oh yeah. yeah i got i got a, a buddy or two that works at the whiskey and i know someone that works at the viper room you guys could probably hit one on friday one on saturday and uh, that would be ideal i'll bring a small army out for you so uh, yeah. that'd be great gentlemen i appreciate you doing this you guys are awesome we'll chat soon and uh yeah once again at frequent misconceptions go follow them We'll chat soon. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank Cheers. You, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, keep blazing. All right, bye. <laughs> Later. Be safe. Be safe.